Hey guys, so I'm finally back from my two week suspension from YouTube. Uh, they gave me a community guideline strike two weeks ago because of one of my videos about Caesar Vargas, this illegal alien lawyer from California. And I guess something I said had hate speech in it. And one of the videos I did before that about David Hogg apparently had harassment and bullying, which it didn't. You know, I'll put a link in the description below uh, for BitChute, where these original videos are that got deleted. And you can watch them, them yourself and see and tell me yourself if you think they violated the terms and conditions of YouTube. I don't, I don't think they did, but, you know, you, you can be the judge yourself. But nonetheless, if I get one more strike, they're going to delete my channel. And this is within the three-month period. Like, it... It, within the next month and a half or something if I get another strike which is bullshit and the way that it's going the way that it's looking I'm most likely going to get another strike so in the case of that happening I'm going to make or I made a second channel AJ Lissitz 2.0 and if you do like my content uh, go there subscribe and I'm not sure if I'm going to be really be posting too much there right now but if this channel does get deleted in the near future, like within the next month or so, that's where I'm going to be posting, right? And if I can get at least uh, 100 or something people there, then at least I'll be a little bit more encouraged to continue doing it. But if you get like nobody that goes there, I'm going to be like, you know, almost like fuck it, right? Because it did, it has taken me like a year or so uh, of work to get a thousand subscribers like you know hundreds of videos it's, these things don't just come out of thin air so it would definitely be discouraging right and this is this is exactly what they want they want smaller creators like me to feel discouraged and to stop producing content you know so then all the only content that you do watch is CNN MSNBC all this bullshit that they put to the the top of the search results on YouTube, right? They they don't want you to to look and get your information from people that are YouTubers or smaller YouTubers. They they want to discourage people like me and and that from calling out fake news pretty much. That that is one of the reasons as well. So when it's somebody bigger uh like info wars or whatever there's gonna be a lot of people yelling and moaning if they do get a community guideline strike and they can eventually get it repealed like you know what happened to andy and whatnot but people around my size like nobody says anything so these channels are going by the wayside because when they implemented that whole you need a thousand uh subscribers and four thousand hours of view time to monetize your content that definitely got rid of probably thousands and thousands of people who are like, oh, screw this now, even though they weren't making that much money. That still will affect some people, and they know this. So it did, didn't really bother me because most of my stuff was not monetized to begin with. It was all demonetized because of the content that I'm talking about. But that's not really the issue for me. I don't care about that. It's gaining of the platform and then them just removing it so we need to go to all tech i do have an account on bitshoot like i mentioned before so you can go there follow me on bitshoot uh go to my twitter account i have that in the link below go to my minds account i have a minds account uh gab you know subscribe to all of these if you do like my content and you want to know what is going on because most likely within the next month my channel will most likely be deleted because of something that I'm going to talk about right so yeah follow me there uh, you know let's support other alternative tech because all we're doing is supporting monopolies when we're not going and they have successfully tarred the name of a lot of these things by uh, associating them with white supremacists and saying like oh this is a, a racist site this that this and that so then you know the average normies don't want to go there and populate it but if they weren't using a lot of that propaganda then 
these competitor, they would actually be more of a competitor. But stuff like Gab, it, there's so much baggage with that name right now that, you know, it, I have a hard time seeing it ever being an actual competitor. But something like Mines, perhaps, I, I do like BitChute because whenever I do upload a video to YouTube, it goes, I have it so it, it uploads directly to BitChute right afterwards. So that's why <clears throat> even though my content got deleted here, it's still there so you can watch it there if you want. And I'm going to get an account most likely on Steemit pretty soon. So yeah, you know, let's stop supporting these monopolies, but at the same time, you still got to use them, right? Uh, they still have a lot of reach, like Twitter, YouTube. If you just, they also want you to just stop using these platforms and go over to only Gab and go over to only this because then you're in your own little bubble, little echo chamber. You, you need to use all of them and you need to use the bigger platform of Twitter, of YouTube to bring word or tell them about these smaller platforms and try to convince them the reasons why. Like it's never good to support monopolies and you don't, it's preferable not to have the government have to come in and break it up and all this stuff. The best way to stop monopolies is for the, the populace, the people to see it forming and then start to spend their money other places and to start investing in other companies. Because over time, what happens with monopolies, they eventually take advantage of the people. Like, you know, you got a, you got a small town, a Walmart comes in, you got a bunch of uh, smaller stores around, mom and pop stores, etc., that pay decent. You know, everybody can has a good life, whatnot. But everybody starts shopping at Walmart. These businesses eventually uh, go out of businesses, the smaller ones, and then eventually the only place left is Walmart, and they raise their prices. Like this is the same thing that happens with social media companies. There's all these other things, but you're just using one. And eventually, like they're doing right now, then they start to abuse their power by censoring people, this, this, and that. But if you had seen it coming and started going to other alternative tech and this, this, and that, then you could avert that. Because yes, they are censoring just the evil right-wingers right now and evil Nazis. But trust me, it's just a matter of time before they come and censor you. And when they do... I'm not going to come out and defend you. Like, I'm not going to advocate for you to be censored or anything like that. But when you do get censored, I'm going to be like, well, you know, I told you so. And I'm not going to go out there and fight for you because you didn't, you didn't bother fighting for me or anything like that. And that is what happens. You reap what you sow. But that's all I pretty much had to say. You know, if you do like my content, go to my other channel, like I said, AJ Elicits 2.0, I'll put the link in the description, BitChute, Mines, Twitter, and Gab, right? So uh, that's all I pretty much had to say, and take it easy. See ya.